And uh, we start with uh, Congo, uh, with uh, President uh, Sasu Ngueso, uh, now set for a uh, dialogue uh, with uh, the uh, Ninja rebel group to end the pool region's uh, crisis. This comes just as the UN vowed to investigate the atrocities committed in the region. Chief of Congo's uh, parliament, Isidore Mvumba, gave the hint about a dialogue in a closing speech after setting up the governing bodies and the legal framework of the National Assembly. According to him, President Ngeso had acceded to the desire uh, to establish in the immediate future dialogue on the Pula region. This change of heart on the part of the authorities comes a year after the beginning of crisis in the pool region, which began after the presidential election result was challenged in April 2016. Government authorities had adopted a firm stance saying they would not negotiate with terrorists. It remains to be seen whether Pastor Tumi, the alleged leader of the Ninja rebels, will agree to take to the talks. Also, the change of heart, the change in part of the government comes after the international community raised concern over the humanitarian situation in pool according to the UN at least 138,000 people that is more than half of the population in the region are in dire need of humanitarian assistance for more on this we are joined by Joe Washington Ebina a civil society activist based in Brazzaville hello Ebina and welcome to the morning call now in his closing speech to the plenary on September 2nd, the Speaker of Congo's Parliament, Isidom Vubard, stated that he had been authorized by the head of state to introduce a platform for dialogue on the issue. What's your take on this as civil society? Well, civil society organizations have made a statement concerning the situation in Pool, as well as the national situation, and we have said that dialogue must be established under the auspices of the international community, in this case the United Nations. We are very pleased to see that the UN has released a statement on human rights violations in Congo. So this clearly shows that there is a problem and the UN can analyze the situation and bring to task those involved in the conflict. And this obviously relates to Congolese authorities, past and to me, the civil society, because it forms part of the requirements of a credible dialogue process in order to find a solution. A negotiation on the spot creates no trust with regards to the development of peace. Monsieur Ebina, les organizations de la société NGOs and civil societies have called for dialogue in regard to the pool crisis in a letter addressed to the IMF last week. Now, does the president's announcement indicate a victory for you? Well, I think the bigger victory is first and foremost to the Congolese people who need peace and also a better economy. In our statements, we have said that there's an issue of trust and credibility when it comes to the national government. We have raised concerns of a plunder in large state corporations, which in essence have led to the current economic crisis, and that is why we demand transparency. According to you, what should be the structure of this platform to ensure sincerely, sincere talks? Well, obviously the government must have representatives. Pastor Tumi also should have his representatives. The civil society must be represented in order to express its opinions on how things will evolve. The civil society, in this, in, in, in this regard, we also say the clergy, the Catholic Church, and also the United Nations. We have found we find it inadmissible that there is conflict in the pool region, but the president is more interested to settle the Libyan crisis which for us, it's a paradox. Uh, a while back, the government was intent to solve the pool crisis by military force. What has changed for it to urge for talks? Well, I think the reason is because war has never solved any problem. Armed conflict, unfortunately, will not bring a lasting solution. We have also seen that the U.S. for a long time has raised concerns over human rights violations in the pool region. 
Now, the European Union and the UN also released damning reports on the issue. So this demonstrates that it is necessary for dialogue in order to find a solution before more tragedy befalls the population.